This video is to quickly update something, um, and it's uh, something that was kind of my fault. Uh, you'll probably recall, some of you, uh, the Marshall JCM uh, 2000 DSL 100 head that I serviced recently with a new uh, power transformer. Uh, well, I've gotten this thing back. The customer was complaining, and I, I, I really should have predicted this, that uh, the... Uh, you know, things were kind of popping and sizzling a little bit whenever uh, he would uh, have the amp on for a little while. And I kind of suspected um, that the bias was going to be off because if you'll recall, I could only bias it to about 70 milliamps. Um, however, I have uh, gone in and uh, replaced uh, what needed to be replaced, uh, tracked it down to this one resistor. The resistor value actually wasn't drifted. Uh, or anything like that but this resistor right in here that is uh, R77 um, sorry if it's hard to see it's it's actually right over here on the side of the board uh, right next to the power transformer uh, where all the leads come in uh, but right after these dials you'll see right down in here R77 uh, that's normally a, a 10k resistor it's kinda hard to read on the published schematics that I found online but it is a 10k resistor that came out of it and like I said it, it measured fine it was 10k like it was supposed to have been but I have replaced it uh, with a 15k and that's actually given me a lot a lot more um, uh, lenience in, in my biasing so uh, here's where here's where uh, that resistor is on the schematic it's right here uh, R77 and it leads into this connector that goes to the uh, biasing little biasing board on the back of the amp and that board all it is there's the schematic it I found it on another schematic and just drew it out here there was actually enough room for it I don't know why they had to use a whole whole new schematic except uh, that it's a different board um, but that's all it is it just comes in and and, and balances things between this 22k and this one um, and as you can see they're in they're in parallel but uh, this is uh, the resistor that you will want to probably change R77 if you follow things out you'll see here uh, this goes right to the bias voltage there's your diodes there's one and here's the other one there's your caps uh, C43 and 44 um, but these caps create our negative voltage and this uh, this actually does most of the job with the biasing and this is supposed to be like the fine tuning uh, but this one it was uh, it was just not the right value for, for this amp and for uh, the tubes that I had in there so that needed to be changed uh, so if you have an amp and you're trying uh, one of these uh, DSL 100s and you're trying to bias it and it won't bias correctly uh, this might be this might uh, solve your issue come in here and instead of a 10k replace that with a 15k and uh, and that should take care of things but um, on this one it has allowed me and you can see the little bias point back here and I don't know if you'll be able to see it. it's kind of dark but uh, here's our little pots, uh, but you turn those, and right now I'm at uh, 93, 94 or so millivolts. Um, I can fine-tune this. Last night I had it exact, uh, but I'm on a very act, so I'm not sure about the in input. But it's right there in the region that it needs to be in, and I can go in actually and test uh, uh, test the plate dissipation on the tubes as well and they should be within spec also and I'll, I'll check that too but this should solve that problem uh, you know the kind of the bacon frying issue like when he plays for a long time you'll kind of hear some crackles in the background and sort of that sort of thing and I checked the uh, plate dissipation as it was before and it was dissipating each tube was dissipating about 27 watts and and that's at idle so uh, yeah that's way it's really it's not way too high but it is hot um, very hot when you consider most most people like to bias their tubes a little lower than the maximum especially on a push pull so um, but the 90 millivolts is going to get us to factory spec uh, and that's exactly where we need to be so yeah I wanted to make this video to update that and to um, kind of make an addendum to the previous video and show um, that this finally was biased correctly and that was uh, and that's how we did it.